I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. The ocean just might be watching you. By training fish to spit at photos of human faces, a new study has found that one species of tropical fish has the ability to distinguish one face from another. The study discovered archer fish are able to recognize faces with a fair amount of accuracy. The fish were able to spot the right face 81 percent of the time, and their accuracy improved to 86 percent when the researchers used a set of black and white images. Oh, I see. So archer fish are racist. The town council of White Settlement, Texas has reversed itself and voted not to evict Browser the Cat from the local library. Maybe now they can do a re-vote on their town name. I mean, come on, really? White Settlement? Ugh. Office workers who are depressed are twice as likely to call in sick and miss work as their happier colleagues. This report brought to you by the labs of Stating the Obvious. Dwayne The Rock Johnson says he might someday run for president. And I would make fun of this, but you know, five years ago, I also thought Donald Trump having a shot at the Oval Office was ludicrous, too. A Northern Ireland jockey was kicked in the face during a race in Italy. He was knocked out and an ambulance was called. When the vehicle raced onto the track, it ran him over, breaking his leg. You know, knowing what happens to horses when they get a broken leg, let's hope the rest of this guy's day was uneventful. Super bacteria has been found in venues for the Rio Olympics. Sailors and health experts have voiced concerns about the pollution issues in the waters that encompass the Rio Olympics sailing venue. Then again, you know, that kind of adds an element of danger to the Olympics, you know, something we've not really seen. Maybe that'll get the TV ratings up. Caitlyn Jenner feels that Donald Trump would be better for women as president. And Kate might have been better off remaining a dude, but you know, what do I know? President Obama and Hillary Clinton took Air Force One to Charlotte Tuesday for a campaign appearance. While endorsing the former Secretary of State, the president told the enthusiastic crowd in Charlotte that there has never been anyone more qualified to be president. Well, except for that time when I was running against her to be president and told you that she wasn't at all qualified, but <laughs> I was just joshing you back then. This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the audiobook Hatched – Invisible Spiders Volume 1 by Jason R. Davis. It is the morning hours in the small town of Hammond, and as the town wakes up, it finds that there is something spreading. Something that is not seen until it is too late, because by then, you are already infected. At that point, they are already hatched. Hatched – Invisible Spiders Volume 1 – available on the audiobooks page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com for more weird news, the free mobile app, and our YouTube channel. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>